I think the first thing to say about this book is that it's an absolute monster. Uh, it's 45 centimeters uh, from top to bottom and it uh, there's only one shelf that I own that will actually hold it. It's, uh, it's, it's absolutely enormous and I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, if I open it up on a random page you'll be able to see exactly how intricate the, the engraving is and uh, you know having them in this size really really makes sense. What are you actually looking at? Uh, Joseph Banks was a botanist uh, who was invited by James Cook, Captain James, James Cook, onto the Endeavour um, to go around the globe uh, in order to find samples of flora from, yeah, from wherever they went um, and record those samples. Um, this is in fact a record on the end papers of where the journey took them. So you have the United Kingdom here uh, so going around France and Spain and Africa here, um, yeah, towards uh, New Holland. Look at that, <laughs> um, and New Zealand, um, and then back, obviously, uh, to uh, the UK, and. Um, Yes, yeah, so so this is basically when 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 they came home, they had a, a huge pile of of samples. Let me show you um, what the pile of samples actually looks like. There you go. I think this is uh, taken from the Natural History Museum in London. There you go. That's where they're currently stored, and they asked a um, an engraver. Uh, in fact, a, a team of engravers. Uh, I, I'm afraid I don't remember uh, the name of the main one. Um, it probably doesn't matter. Um, uh, you, you, you'll you'll find it very very easily uh, to reproduce these samples uh, in in the form of these uh, of these amazing copper plates. Now in the 1980s, uh, so. Yeah, what is it? Uh, three, three hundred years later. Mm. Yep, something like that. Three hundred years later. Um, no, two two hundred years later. Uh, they uh, the the well, a team at the Natural History Museum decided to actually use these copper plates to make, in fact, actual prints. And you can see that they've done a fantastic job of it. And this book is a, a reproduction of those prints. Some of the prints are available uh, to purchase. Some of the, those original prints are available to purchase. And this book uh, comes with, you see it comes with this, this voucher uh, to get 5% uh, off um, one of the original prints. So yeah, if, if you're interested, um, I can't imagine that being a cheap thing to do. I was worried, to be entirely honest with you, uh, that, I mean, the, it's how many pages? It's, it's a huge, huge book, Three, 300, 300 pages. I was worried that 300 pages of, uh, of, plates of, uh, of recorded flora uh, might get tedious after a while. Now, I really should not have worried. Uh, let me explain why. The book starts off with a, a thorough introduction, which introduces you to the, uh, to the actual journey. Uh, there are lots of little uh, details and uh, anecdotes of uh, what actually happened. Uh, the, the adventures that they that they had, the uh, troubles that they had in getting these samples um, back uh, to the UK, um, and um, and once you know what the story is, then all of the notes that accompany each plant read like um, like a journal, really. Um, 
So each one of these plants comes with its own little background. Um, maybe it explains why it's named the way it is. Maybe uh, it's named after some people that they met along the way, some people uh, that they um, that they knew, etc., etc. So it really does read, uh, and and they recommend in the introduction to read it uh, uh, sequentially, uh, because uh, yeah, the the things that I explained on one page kind of follow uh, follow on uh, as a as a natural narrative. It's absolutely wonderful. And the next thing is because you're actually reading and getting involved in the, the history of this, of, of what was involved in gathering this sample, you're kind of growing a personal attachment to this particular plant and you're kind of um, admiring uh, uh, the, the beauty of it and, uh, and, and how it grows and... Uh, Etc. Uh, uh, Etc. Et and so when you turn the page, suddenly you're seeing something very different, and uh, and it's not just a yet another bunch of leaves and flowers. It's it's something radically different um, because you've spent so long with the previous one, you know, and you uh, you you feel like you know it quite well. Um, so yeah, I've I've spent a a couple of hours with this book. Um, really really getting very very engrossed and every single plate is utterly gorgeous utterly utterly gorgeous i, I really uh, can't convey um what a pleasure it is to uh, to spend some time with this book there we go oh uh, something um that is not apparent on all of the uh, engravings so there are some some notes on some of the pages you can see some pictorial notes um, some of them just don't have that uh, and and others do Just showing you some random pages now. You can see every single one of the little um, etchings uh, that was made on those copper plates. So much care, so much detail. It's absolutely incredible. Okay, I'll just show you a couple more. Talented, talented um, uh, artists. The book is um, is Smithsone. You can really feel the quality. Uh, you heard that crack. It's just because the the, um, uh, the I can't remember what you call it. Uh, just just the the group of group of pages that were together uh, just just fell out of um, uh, out of alignment. But it falls straight back into alignment. The um, the the quality of the um, uh, of the book is um, uh, the materials used is outstanding. The, the pages are really nice and um, thick and yet flexible. Um, it's uh, yeah, it, it opens out really nice, nice and straight. Uh, <laughs> it's just just really really lovely. Let me show you um, what you get in the back. There's, uh, there's, there's a couple more essays. Oh. Just a minute. There we go. So here's um, his yeah a, a close look at what one of the samples looked like. Uh, this is in fact what uh, Joseph Banks put together, uh, and then yeah then he he paid for those to be reproduced uh, as 
copper plates, copper engravings. There you go. Um, then there's a a, a note on uh, the, the 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 actual printing process um, that happened in the 80s and how they did that. Fantastic. And then there's a concordance. Look how cool that is. Yeah, the concordance um, followed by um, the bibliography. Plenty of background reading there. Uh, acknowledgements, sources of illustrations, and then a, an index of plants. So if you know what you're looking for, you can go straight for it on the appropriate page. There we go. And the end papers. I've not removed this. Um, it's it's kind of a blurb. Um, <laughs> advertising <laughs> bit of bit of paper I, i'm not sure why i haven't removed it yet i i i haven't a hundred percent decided that i want to yet uh, it's not visible when i've when i've got it on the shelf so it's not bothering me at all um yeah i, d I don't know i <laughs> i may or may not remove that so there we go guys uh, that's my um uh, quick overview of Joseph Blank Banks's Flore Legium. As I say, there is a, there is a smaller edition. I think it's uh, about 30, 35 centimeters, something like that. Uh, so so slightly slightly smaller, possibly more wieldy. Um, but obviously, what you gain in um, uh, uh, convenience, you lose in sheer. Uh, uh, awesomeness <laughs> um so so yeah I, I i i can't tell you how much i enjoyed reading this um um i i honestly thought that i was going to enjoy it but i had no idea i was going to enjoy it this much it reads very much like a like an adventure i completely feel involved with their uh, process of um of gathering these samples these specimens um uh yeah i i i really feel like um like 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 i was possibly almost there <laughs> so there you go thanks ever so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a, a thumbs up that really helps me and um and subscribe if you haven't already thanks ever so much again for watching and see you very soon bye bye